Good morning, everybody. From Egypt. We're, we're still in Istanbul. Well, look, obelisk. <laughs> this obelisk is actually from Egypt. Mm -hmm. And they brought it over... 1,600 years ago? And they think that the obelisk itself is maybe around 3,000 years old. So that is pretty cool. It has all the iconography all over it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that would make it one of the oldest buildings in Istanbul, or oldest structures in Istanbul. Mm -hmm. So we're up early again uh, to try and get into this place mm -hmm. uh, as soon as it opens as well. We're going to the Blue Mosque this morning. Yes, I feel like um, waking up early just kind of in our theme here in Istanbul. Yeah, definitely. Or just in here in Turkey, Turkey in yeah. general, yeah. <laughs> like five people in line the whole front is covered in scaffolding so it makes me feel like we're in the wrong spot what do you think it says entrance okay. we did find out why there's no line to get in the entire inside is completely covered in scaffolding and yeah. you can't see anything. Or you can sort of see through it mm -hmm. up... Um, into the main dome? Into the main dome, which actually is absolutely stunning. I would say it's easier, grander, and prettier mm -hmm. than uh, Hagia Sophia. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's completely under construction on the outside and the inside right now. I'm still, I'm still glad that we came in. I mean, can't not come in, but... Uh, Anyone who's wondering, yes, the carpets are as nice in here. <laughs> as in Hagia Sophia. I actually say they're a little bit nicer. Uh, this thing, of course, is a lot newer um, mm -hmm. than Hagia Sophia, so that's part of why it's so much nicer. Yeah, so it's 400 years old versus 1,500 years old, so... Yeah. That's very, very pretty. I would just like to see it from the outside because the pictures look incredible, but that's all scaffolded it up and the parts that aren't are just covered by uh, like those boards that they put up all over the place that have pictures of what it's supposed to look like. They do that all over the place. <laughs> and that is what it's supposed to look like. Not quite what it looks like right now, but it's supposed to be really pretty. So we're in what is supposedly the world's largest covered bazaar in the whole world. We've been to a few markets and bazaars that claim to be the biggest, but so does this one. And I mean, it is absolutely massive. And we're just here to find postcards. I'm a little overwhelmed because there's so much stuff here. And I think we're going to face the problem Hi, where we're going to... Hello. Nice <laughs> <laughs> And everyone's actually been really nice with the camera. Everyone keeps asking us to make them famous, it's really fun. Um, I think we're going to face a problem where we're going to find just about everything but postcards. But I don't know, we'll see. Also back there, there's actually an entire police station in here. It's crazy, anything you could think of. Yeah, they literally Except for postcards so far. <laughs> and bathroom, I need to find a bathroom.
we resorted to asking for uh, directions. I think we have a lead on a place that sells postcards. This is turning into the most ridiculous adventure ever. I, I mean, there's 4,000 shops. I mean, surely one has a postcard. What's that? Postcard? What's that? No. Oh, it's okay. Thank you. So, do you uh, have postcards? Postcards? Yeah. No. Oh, thank okay. you. All right. We spent longer than I care to admit uh, following that lead. And at this point, we're pretty certain that there are no postcards for sale in that bazaar. Which is so bizarre, isn't it? Oh my god. On the bright side, though. I will say this has been relatively, I would say, the least high pressure bazaar that we've ever been to in like a year of going to a lot of these things. <laughs> yeah, uh, they were all so nice and just like wanted to be on the on video and it was just a lot, a lot of fun. A lot of people asked us to make them famous. Yeah. At this point the plan is to go to a very famous uh, sweet shop that a lot of people have told us about and uh, just kind of eat a lot of sugar to make up for the fact. <laughs> A lot of you guys recommended we come here. It's called Mustafa 1864. And holy moly, this place is poppin'. So the whole front area is a whole bunch of the sweets, and then the back half is a nice cafe where you can sit down and try their different desserts. And uh, we thought the safest choice was to go with their sample platter, which comes with six different desserts, and they all look delicious. I don't even know where to start. Which one do I start with? Maybe the one closest to me. So I think they gave us a dipping sauce. I think it's some kind of cream, like a sweet cream. Mixed up. Is good? You dip it? Oh, ah, okay. Thank you. So the really kind lady next to us said to cut it in half first. And this one has walnuts, I think. It's stuffed with walnuts and it has a sugar glaze on the outside and you can see how flaky it is. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to dip it. I'm gonna go for it. Okay, here we go. That's good. Oh my gosh. So a lot of the um, types of baklava that we've had, the bottom half it kinda is like really sticky and condensed with the sugar, so it all kind of sinks down. But this is evenly distributed with the sugar, so it doesn't taste like the bottom half is like this really like candied piece of pastry. That is delicious, and the walnuts aren't hard, they're like nice and soft. I like how the, the sweet cream adds just a little more sugar if this isn't sweet enough for you already. Mm. Look at that. Isn't that like the prettiest color combination you've ever seen? It's just really dark chocolate baklava with the greenest pistachios. And of course, dip it in chocolate. If I'm doing this wrong, I'm sorry, but that's the way I like it. Okay. Whoever recommended that we come here is my new favorite person. This one tastes like really thinly coated Nutella with the chocolate, the flakiness, and the sugar, and the pistachios with the crunchiness to that. Oh, I like that one a lot. Oh, I'll take the other half. That one's for Chewy. I'm sorry. I just got Turkish coffee. I would want to try it, but everywhere it looked, it was very, very expensive. Here, it was pretty reasonable. Kind of just looks like a cup of espresso. It's sweet. It almost tastes like uh, hot chocolate. It's like very thick and a little gritty. It tastes like it has a lot of caffeine in it. This is pretty good. I'm gonna start ordering this all over the place. It's like a shot of espresso, but it tastes good. This place. Holy moly. Best desserts ever. I am going to severe sugar overload, but in the best way. I apologize, I don't remember your uh, name on YouTube right now, but to the person that recommended that place, thank you. Top notch. We're gonna go look for postcards. <laughs> Tia found postcards.
we found a nice little uh, seaside park. It's so pretty here. You can see all the boats off in the distance. There must be a huge port close by mm -hmm. because there's just dozens of ships. And they're all like twinkling with their little lights. I like it. Yeah, that's really cool. This is a really pretty area. Mm -hmm. But anyway, the. <laughs> We've walked seven miles today. For by this the way. postcard. For this postcard. So, if sorry the whole video basically ended up being about that. We had plans with the blue mosque and all this stuff, but uh, yeah. yeah. Anyways, just one okay. of those days. So if you would like this uh, postcard that we walked the entire city of Istanbul for, <laughs> um, comment down below, and in a few uh, days we'll pick a random winner, and uh, you'll get this postcard. I'll send it out to you. Well, thanks you guys for coming with us today. We appreciate it. And uh, after eight days in Istanbul, we're gonna change cities. We did not film here as much as we liked, but we did get a good amount of time here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to come back yeah. for sure and film some more videos. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe. So there is a TV crew back here and we were just interviewed on TV. Yeah. Well, they saw us with the camera and I thought that they thought that we were going to be really chill, but we were so awkward. Oh my gosh, he said that we talk too fast. And then <laughs> Tavio joked and asked them if they wanted to be on our TV show and then they laughed and walked away. It's <laughs> a really awkward encounter. Oh man, so <laughs> check out Istanbul's TV station somewhere for this. So, six different...